Welcome, everyone. The Bacchus Page House Museum and Turconnell Heritage Society acknowledges the land we are on today as the traditional territory of First Nations people. As settlers at a settler-focused museum, we value both the significant historical and contemporary contributions of all original peoples and ask how we can be supportive in Indigenous cultural renewal. Welcome to our 17th annual Heritage Farm Show, funded in part by the Government of Canada. I'm going to let each of our dignitaries say a few words and then I'll wrap things up. Our Member of Parliament during this project, until the election was called, and now I'm forced to introduce as the candidate for Elgin Middlesex London, please welcome Karen Vecchio. Thank you very much and thank you so much and, and you know I was just saying as we're getting started, you know we're here at the Agricultural Centre today as we're celebrating the opening. And if anyone understands the change of plans, it would be farmers. It would be people in the agricultural sector. So you know what it's all about. Tomorrow it might rain, you never know, it might snow. And I'm, I'm really happy to be part of this incredible community where we are celebrating our history, where we're celebrating the generations that have come together to build places where we can be so proud of. I am so proud of what I see here. Just a couple years ago, we were walking around the Lawrence Spicer Trail. Today, we're gonna to be opening up this incredible center. So that means to all of the volunteers and to the board of directors and to Angela who cannot be here today, thank you. Thank you for making this place a place to come, somewhere we can celebrate together and where we can share our history. I am so proud to work with the incredible people on this project and congratulations on today's opening. Thank you very much. Thanks, Karen. By the way, this project was funded in part by the Government of Canada. On behalf of our MPP of Elgin Middlesex London, Jeff Urich, I'd like to introduce Delaney Leach. So I'll start by passing along Jeff's greetings and regrets that he's unable to be with us today as well. Um, I'm thrilled to be here on his behalf. It's always one of my favorite events in our calendar and my best commute. <laughs> So I think a lot of the uh, equipment displayed here in the center um, is very familiar to a lot of us. We grew up seeing it, we may have grown up using it, but for so many people, especially even in our own area, they may as well be from a different planet. Um, I think it's so important that the society is displaying this agricultural equipment in this way um, to hopefully help especially young people um, become connected with their not so distant ancestors, but also foster an appreciation for the hard work behind our food production. Um, so on behalf of Jeff and the province, I want to thank the society for prioritizing a project like this and working hard to showcase our rural roots. Congratulations on the opening. Now our Elgin County Warden, Tom Marks. Thank you and good morning to everyone. I want to first to um, thank you for the invitation. I want to bring greetings on behalf of the rest of Elgin County Council. Um, come from the farm background myself, some of those old tractors, I've actually, first tractor I ever drove was an 8 in Ford, so very familiar with them. Just delighted, the, it's such a great day, great weather, but uh, certainly congratulations in, are in order. First thought, you know, it, it's happened because of volunteers, and so many times I've said, thank goodness for volunteers, because without them, where would we be? Uh, it's, but always use more. I think sometimes the ones we have, we're, we're overburdening them and they're getting tired, but uh, maybe um, I think there's things like this here bring the hope and we'll get the next generation coming up. But uh, uh, it's a beautiful place. When you travel across the county, you realize how big it is. And it's, it's you kind of regret that you don't take the time to come out and see all these little hidden gems. But uh, congratulations and all the best to you. Thank you. Duncan McPhail, the mayor of the municipality of West Elgin, and thank you to West Elgin for funding our new exhibit inside titled Historic Aldboro. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Certainly, uh, let's, let's go back to start at the beginning to the individuals that had the vision many, many years ago that a facility like this uh, was necessary in Western Elgin County, and, and certainly to those people to see how this has matured over the years. Uh, it must be very, very gratifying to them. To the board and directors of the Bacchus Page, congratulations. Uh, this is a huge, huge project, and uh, uh, your group just keeps uh, moving the ball forward and putting in new exhibits, and uh, I, I think that's uh, so wonderful. And on behalf of the people of West Elgin, I'm, I'm certainly, uh, certainly glad to be here and uh, have been able to support your building uh, with, with some uh, 
with some fun. So, uh, and I think the most important people that are in the room here in the facility today are all you, uh, all you people that have come out to uh, enjoy this wonderful, wonderful morning. Because this is you're you're the reason that this is being done for you to be able to come out, bring your kids, bring your grandchildren, have them look at what our past has been and how we have moved from that to where we are today. So uh, certainly to the, uh, to the patrons that are here today, uh, you know, support your Bacchus page. Uh, uh, if you've got a little room on your calendar and, and you want to be a volunteer, I know that they will certainly accept additional help. Thank you very much and uh, certainly enjoy your visit to Bacchus page. On behalf of the municipality of Dutton Dunwich, we have our Deputy Mayor, Mike Kentz. And thank you to Dutton Dunwich for their ongoing support since the beginning of Turconnell Heritage Society in 1994. Uh, good morning. What a beautiful day and what a beautiful event. It's certainly nice to see folks out and about again after the last 18 months we've been through. Uh, this is just, you couldn't ask for better weather. I want to acknowledge the people that made this facility happen and starting with Angela, who is not with us. The amount of work went in here, and the volunteers. And I, I can't mention them all, I would run out of time. But they've done incredible work. And as you tour this facility, uh, we recognize those, through their generous donations, helped make this happen. All levels of government have been involved in this project, from the federal government, uh, provincial government, Elgin County, and certainly Dutton Dunwich. And I'm going to blow our horn a little bit here. Um, you are in Dutton Dunwich. For, for those that are out of the area, uh, this is the nicest heritage facility and museum in all of Elgin County. Whether Tom agrees with me or not, but <laughs> I feel strongly about that. There is not a better place <laughs> to live and work than Dutton Dunwich. I promote it constantly and just drive around this area and you'll see for yourselves. So congratulations on a great facility, uh, the yard, the house, the new building, the walking trails around here, don't ignore them. During this pandemic, we've been so busy down here, that's something that you could do no matter what was going on. You could walk the beautiful trails, visit Pierce Park, tour the museum uh, and look at the heritage equipment around here so tell your friends tell your neighbors uh, about this place we'd love to see you in Dutton Dunwich thank you very much well this has been quite the journey and I am beyond excited to finally have visitors tour through the agricultural history center today in May of 2018, we were notified that longtime Heritage Farm Show exhibitor and museum supporter George Kimball had left Turconnell Heritage Society money in his will for a building to educate people on farming and protect and demonstrate the antique farm equipment collection. We were also told that Teresa Cutler McPhee had left funds in her will for a worthwhile community project. After submitting a proposal, our vision for agricultural history preservation was approved. Pairing this with a grant from the Government of Canada, donations from community members, and a small fundraiser, our vision is now a reality. There have been numerous delays, highs, lows, tears, a global pandemic that shut down not only the park and the museum, but the whole world, and then shut down non-essential construction. We jumped through hoops for permits, two different shutdowns that barred us from having more than one person working at a time inside, finding all the artifacts that didn't have accession numbers on them, finding artifacts that none of us could identify, until earlier this week thinking a hay loader was a hay elevator, realizing we should have built a bigger building so the combine isn't outside, and many items in our collection didn't make the cut so they're hidden in the old barn, and so much more has happened. But honestly, the results inside were worth almost everything that has happened along the way, except the pandemic. We all could have skipped that part, right? I've learned so much, and I think so has everyone else involved. To all those who have served on the Building and Finishing Committees and the Turconnell Heritage Society Board of Directors since 2018, thank you for allowing me and working alongside me to bring the vision I had into the world. To everyone at Ontario Parks, thank you for approving this addition to our portion of Johnny Pierce Provincial Park.
to any and all who contributed even a minute of their time or a dollar towards the Agricultural Center, we all appreciate you so much. I'm not going to attempt to list names because I would leave someone out. Just know that you are remembered. Our local MP, MPP, Warden, West Elgin Council, and Dutton Dunwich Council have been cheering us on and we are grateful for all of their assistance. Thanks to Elgin County Archives and everyone else, including my own family, for contributing old photographs and for having labeled them with the names and dates. I'm going to extend my thanks and the thanks of the board to our project manager, Ron Ross. When we brought Ron onto the project, things moved super fast and that was refreshing. To Lexi Leach, our bookkeeper, thanks for keeping up with all the financial details of not just the Society and Museum, but this project in particular. The past four seasons, I have had the pleasure to work with some great seasonal staff who have all had a hand in this new building. Caitlin Rietzma, Brianna McSloy, Patience Boyd, Stephen McLaughlin, Beth McIntyre, Carly Thompson, Sabrina Merckx, and Elisa Abs. Last but not least is this year's assistant manager who spent every workday out here building the exhibits you're going to see inside. Thank you, Avery Voivoden, for taking the pictures and ideas I had on Pinterest, saved in various files, and floating around in my head, putting your spin on it and bringing it to life in barnboard, plywood, and pallets. I worked off and on at Ellis Farm Equipment in Talbotville as a teenager. My maternal grandparents were farmers, and their parents were farmers at Creenan outside West Lorne and on Shackleton Line outside Dutton. My paternal grandmother's family had Davies Garage and Restaurant in Wallacetown, and my grandfather arrived from Wales through the Empire Settlement Program at the age of 19 in 1927, and his second job here in Canada was as the hired man for Little John's and then for Pierce's right here on Lakeview Line. I have always thought my community role as cultural manager was to preserve and share other people's stories through the items, buildings, and documents they've left me to care for. In finishing this building and opening it to the public today, I and everyone else involved, especially George and Teresa, are leaving our own legacies. This is part of the museums, municipalities, and county's history, and it's part of our own personal stories. So years from now, people just like all of us will remember, hopefully fondly, those of us who created this space that we call the Agricultural History Center at Bacchus Page House Museum.